Hello everyone, and welcome to GoldenEye 007. Yet again, here we are, and now it's all about the control level. So, like I said before, those who have played through this game, they know this is the one to beat. My god, this level is just fucking crazy. It's so hard. Oh my god. And 007 Agent is definitely no joke. Luckily, objective-wise, it's pretty light. Protecting Natalia, of course. It's She's like in half of these levels by now, so... Save the Golden Eye Satellite and destroy the armored mainframes. So, objective-wise, it's not too bad. But, in just everything else, it's terrible. <laughs> so, oh man. I, I won't ruin it for those who have not seen it, but, but those who know this level, they just know that this level's... God, it's so fucking hard. Good lord. So, ah, but at least, well, but before the, this terror begins, we get this nice little... Elevator music, so it helps soothe us, helps helps cleanse the palate. All right, I'm ready as I'm gonna be. So we start off, start off strong here. Oh, start or not so strong in my case. So of course we've got lots of baddies to shoot. Would not be a golden eye level if there were not baddies in need of shooting. Foos in need of being taught lessons. Foos in need of being pitied. And right off the. Shit, oh my god, this is terrible already. So, this first part is terrible for obvious reasons. Because there are mounted turrets. And it's really tricky, I'm just trying to get a, just a sliver. So I can shoot him. I think that's the camera part, so I think I can get that guy. Right. There we go. Alright, so that's the first one. I think there's two more. So one right up. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a glimpse. Nope. More, that's more than a glimpse. I think that's it. Yeah. If if you can't really tell what I'm aiming at, like watching on YouTube's resolution, I can't see it either. Really. <laughs> I just kind of, after playing this so many times, you just kind of know where the pixels lie. So, my apologies if you have a hard time seeing it on your end, but just know it's it's equally bad on mine. So. more bad guys, but more importantly, oh, there it is. This guy right here. That this one screwed me over more times than I would like to admit. So I tend to sometimes forget about that one. Oh, luckily these guys. Maybe because I don't. Is it is it just me or is this is the game playing faster? Maybe after playing the jungle level and seeing all the extra foliage it has to render, maybe it just feels like it's faster, but. Because that level, it felt like it was running super slow. Okay, I think that's all of the turrets. He says right before he dies. Terribly. No, I think that's it. Uh, oh, but that's not all the bad guys. There we go. I would really like to not die in this very first room. You know, is that that's a reasonable request, right? Once the, everything's cleared out, well, that didn't go so well. No, it didn't. Yeah, ideally, I'd, I'd like to get a fresher start to this level. Uh, this first part, this first room is very difficult. Uh, admittedly, I should have done better at remembering where exactly where the turrets are, or more importantly, how to fight them the best, because it is just a strategy of getting that little sliver of them so you can see them without them seeing you. So it's just a matter of kind of getting back into that groove. Got one open. All right. Might as well switch back to the Deutsch, since this is the weapon of choice yet again. Anyway, shooting at little black and green blobs off in the distance. All right. So there's a bunch of guys over in this area over here, and they're very grenade happy. So what I'd like to do is just kind of run and gun, and by run and gun I mean just run first. Let them throw for grenades. A few grenades. Every. Oh, I think. I think they got one of them. Every once in a while you might get lucky and they'll throw a grenade and it'll kill one of them. So, sometimes that'll happen. So, wait for a few grenades. Oh, I guess I didn't throw any that time. Alright, one more time. Running through- Oh, well, nope. None of that. They just decided to shoot me then. Okay. Well, oh yeah, now they're throwing grenades. Alright, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> Yeah, that part is also rough. There's you'll uh, you'll hear me say that a lot of times in this level of oh that part is tough. No shit, Alex. It's only the hardest level in the goddamn game. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no fast forwarding with this since it was so soon. I think we're 
pretty good shape here. Alright, so let's do this a little better, Alex, and not fuck it up. There we go. Alright. Crap, 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 there we go. I should rename these videos to Watch Super Hobbit Suck at Video Games. Oh, man. See, I was running full blast on that one. I'm surprised it was able to catch me. There we go. Just that little black part, which I think is supposed to be the camera. There we go. Good. Next is the one up here. Oh, boop, boop. Now, you may think you're safe if you can't... Like, if it's still shooting at you, then you're not safe. It's... Even if you think, oh, there's no way it can hit me in this tiny sliver, if it's shooting at you, then it means it thinks it has a shot, so... It's best to just not chance it. Yeah, see right there, like, if I would have stayed there, it would have shot me eventually. Yeah, I think that's it. There we go! Okay, so I was only one bullet ahead out of it. Oh, yeah, I actually hadn't picked up the Deutsche, yet, that's funny. This guy, don't forget about him. Oh! Yeah, the range on that one is kind of deceptive, because it's actually pointed the other way, but it's just enough where I can still see you. Alright, so that does it with the turrets. Good thing. Oh, oh crap, that guy, okay. I was hearing other bullets, I was like, what the hell's going on? This guy, that's what's going on. This guy, that guy. Woohoohoo! And okie dokie, artichokey. Well, still could have gone better. That first one right at the beginning, it bums me out that he seems to always hit me right when I exit the... Right when I exit the elevator. So maybe what I need to do is... Instead of... Instead of just sauntering out, I need to jump out and just head to the side immediately just to avoid any issues. James, you're hurt. Yeah, I am, but not as bad as the last time. So I'll, I'm calling it an improvement. Or something. I'm calling it something. Damn it. I've got all the ammo I can get here. Lester's been locked, and of course, note that she's actually not pressing any of the buttons. <laughs> she just kind of puts her hand near the keyboard, and yeah, that's close enough. Scratch my head at a few things. Okay, <laughs> I managed to get it open without me hitting any buttons. Awesome! I wish I was that good of a programmer. Darn. Right, shooting at blobs yet again. And running across with the inevitable explosions. Uh, I got one. Oh, come on! I wasn't that close, was I? Man. That's the other thing, because it's that close to the ocean. It's that close to the ocean. That close to the wall, so the explosion can leak through, as we just saw. I let that smoke clear so I can see what the hell I'm shooting at. Oh. Still have really, really good reaction times in this part, so gotta be extra, extra careful. Nope, no grenades for you. Sorry, he's gonna drop it. And it's gonna explode, right? Oh, guess I shot him early enough. A lot of times you'll you'll catch them right as they pull the pin on a grenade, so it like it'll still be in their hand and it'll be active. So when you kill the enemy that has it, they'll drop the grenade, but you can't pick it up, and it'll just blow up. So that's something that you kind of have to watch for, is if you kill a guy who's holding a grenade, don't jump to pick it up immediately, because it might still be active, and it might be about to explode and kill your ass. So, sage advice from Super Hobbit, of course. I'm full of wisdom. Really, one of my favorite things to say is, people tell me I'm full of it. No, well, they, they, they say I'm full of something, but, yeah, anyway. Alright, so we've made... Lots more progress than last time, I'll say that much. Um, one quick thing, actually, I've, I don't think I've ever, or maybe I have, well, first, yeah, too, resolu too low resolution to really tell. Okay, it's locked. Yeah, I'd wondered what that led to, but it's a non-issue at this point. Ding. Well, no dings, but... Oh, damn, man. He just comes out all guns blazing. Jeez, Rambo. Better rest, all right? I say as I kill, like, five dudes. Alright. So, here is where we're gonna see 
most of the action is this area. First off, we have an old friend here, Boris. Don't mind me, I just look after the computers. Okay, I'll just look away. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oops, he pulled a gun, but, <laughs> but he dropped it. So there's a few things, like, like we can pick up the gun, it gives a sample, which is nice. And he just kind of sits there, his legs quivering. Because he's a real man, and that's what real men do. So we can kill him if we want to, and we won't immediately fail the mission. But then when Natalia, we meet up with Natalia later, she'll say, I'm not helping you because he killed Boris. So... We turn our backs to him, he goes, I'm invincible, and he runs away. And that's the end of that. You can follow him if you want to, but he, there's really not anything to that, so. Um, a few things. A few things to start. We're gonna place... We need to destroy these mainframes. And I know a thing a few about mainframes, so... And I know that they need to be destroyed with remote mines. As apparently they're bulletproof. That I did not know. So you have to just... We will have to destroy these things, because that's one of the objectives. So I'm going to go ahead and place those on there for now. Let me just check the other side just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I know there's all this really big non-see-through glass, but <laughs> the good stuff's housed behind there, don't you worry. So that's locked. Yeah, we'll have to go there. I think that's where we'll want to be going later on. Or maybe it's that room. Is this one locked? I can't remember. One of those two is what we'll have to go to eventually. So open this door, and, and just note that the game lags right as you open the door. That's a good sign. So there's a couple things. Goddamn turrets, of course. In fact, I think it showed, like, in the pre level preview, it showed this room, so... Okay, that's one. That's another thing. It is The trick is to, st is to open the door and stand back and then shoot them from afar. But the door keeps closing on you, so you have to keep... Whoa, whoa! Oh, well, in that case, I'm going to go over to this side. Try to focus the bottleneck on this side instead. I forgot, there are guys on the upper level that come down to haunt us. Oh, boy. Why am I using the pistol? What the hell's wrong with me? I'm an idiot. I'm so used to having to conserve ammo when it's the same damn ammo to begin with. Blarg. So did I kill that guy? I didn't think I killed him. Yeah, oh, there, wait. Here he comes. Whoa, whoa. That wasn't me looking up, that was the game's, like, auto-center thing, where if you're... What, what the... What are you doing? You're doing it wrong! There we go. Yeah, if you're on an inclined surface, the game will sometimes, like, look up for you. Like, right there. And because I was standing near, near this surface, I was like, Oh, you wanna look up? Here you go, bro. I'm helping you out. There we go. So I think the guy I killed a moment ago, not that guy just now, but I think a moment ago, I think he was the thing that I saw up there earlier. Alright, another remote mine and another mainframe. And then there's one over here. Boink. And, oh, well, I, I'm, while I'm up here, I might as well. Might as well get the rest of the stuff on, on this floor. I don't think there's anything, yeah, there's nothing on this side, but on the other side, I think there's one more mainframe, and then also a little bonus room. And I actually can't remember... Yeah, here's the bonus room. Oh, and no mainframes, I guess I was wrong. And I like that you can just pass through this gate. That's legit. But body armor. The game is at least nice enough to give us body armor, so there is that. Although past a certain point, it's not so much our health that we'll be concerned about. And I think you know where this game is, where I'm going with this sentence, so, or that statement. I can't remember if the game explicitly says how many mainframes there are. We've placed mines on four of them. As I should have, uh, yeah, as we started with eight. So yeah, we've got four mainframes covered. I think that... There's at least five, as the fifth one is in this room. Go figure. The one with all the turrets and mean bad guys. But because we're far enough away, we can shoot this guy from the safety of this area. Which is a huge help. There we go. Um, however, there's still more turrets, so what we have to do is... RUN! Yeah, as you saw, there were... Oh, yeah. There, there's one on either side of those two areas right there, so... Yeah, one in that little hovel space, and one right below there. Right behind there, rather. So there's the other mainframe. 
main flame. And I think... I think that's it, actually. I think that's it for this room. So this actually, that wasn't too bad for this room. I'm willing to call that a relatively smooth uh, thing. Let's see, can we see the turrets from here? I'm, I'm just curious. No, you really can't. So, trust me, they're there. I, I know all too well that they're definitely there. Alright, and then run! Alright. Now, you might think it's unlucky that you have to open the door, but luckily this little, there's little space in between the door and the hallway is actually just enough to hide in. Alright, well, I'm actually, I, this whole time I've actually been debating, should I go ahead and detonate these now? The mainframe explosion thingies, that is. Because there's a couple things. The big apex to this level is that at the end, well not at the end, pretty much the point now, is that we have to defend Natalia as she disables the Golden Eye satellite missile launching laser blah blah blah, whatever it is. And she sits at one of these computers this whole time, and it takes forever, and enemies swarm everything. And the trick behind it is that there's all these glass panels where enemies can jump from behind. So if I detonate the mainframes now, it'll blow up some of those glass things. And I'm wondering if that's a good idea to do it now or later. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Let's see if that works out. Boop. Oh, I was actually standing right over one of those. Uh, and why did I not get objective complete? That's a little worrisome. Did I forget one or something? I thought there was only five. Alright, now I gotta check. Hold on. I really only thought there were five of them. Oh, I remember now. Yes, that makes sense. We wouldn't have it. We wouldn't have it yet. The last mainframe is behind. Oh shit! Almost forgot. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely have to sidewalk run there because it's quick. The next mainframe is behind this door, but we can't get there yet because we still need to do the stuff where we're disabling the golden eye. Blah blah blah. See you. All right. So that's okay. I I forgot about that, but no biggie. No biggie at all. Alright, so here's where we meet back up with Natalia. Just down this way. And there she is. Took her that goddamn long to open the door, so I had to take the long way around and got my ass kicked a little bit on the way there, but... Okay, well, here is where the action is. This is where all the shit takes place. There's different strategies on, like, what's the best... Where's the best place to stand through all this? I guess for now, I'll try this where I'm kind of in the middle of everything. I know there, there are different strategies on which way works best, but I'll see if this works and go from there. Okay, well, there's the alarm. Enemies are soon to start pouring in. Oh, shit, there he is. Oh, crap. Uh, I don't know where the other one was shooting at. Me. Oh, no, it's that same one. Okay. One thing that it's... Okay, what the hell? I know I'm shooting him. Alright, there we go. And then they start breaking through the glass, which is the other thing. So, yeah, one thing that's super annoying in this game is that when you get shot, there's like a full second or two where you can't shoot. So you just have to stand there like a derp. Like, exactly, right right there. Like, I'm pull holding down the trigger, but he, he keeps shooting me. Alright, so at this point, he's going to start shooting at Natalia, which is almost a good thing, because she has more health than I do. But there's that moment where they pause, so that almost gives you enough time to react. But I'm in really dire straits, because I've got very little health myself. Fuck! I knew it, yeah. I, I honestly can't explain why that was going so poorly. I, maybe I was just missing that whole time through, but... Oh, <laughs> they blew up the computer that she's standing in front of. Yeah, I, I kept shooting at him, and he wasn't getting hit. It felt maybe I was just missing him that badly, but... That was really frustrating. I can't really explain why that was going so poorly. Alright, well, that's the part of the level that everyone talks about, so... Okay, well... <laughs> skipping ahead or fast-forwarding, however I decide to do it in editing, but... Here we go again! Alright. 
All right, I think this is a good place to kind of snap back to where we were. Um, just a few quick notes. Same thing as before, I went ahead and blew up the mainframes ahead of time. The ones that are here, at least. At about half health, so not great. Oh, I need to pick up the body armor. What the hell am I thinking? God. Jumping in without body armor. I'm going in unprotected. What am I thinking? I could catch a disease that way. All right, enough of this. All right, so let me snap. Let me s snap. Snab. Whatever word I'm looking for. Let me go ahead and grab this stuff. There we go. Body armor. Good thing, too. Whew. God, I'm glad I remembered. All right, so I'm about half health, full body armor now, thankfully. And there were a few key differences, mainly being that I went ahead and destroyed some of those tables that are sitting in the way. I don't think this will necessarily help my case, but this will at least let me see things a little bit clearer, so... I mean, I've got a little bit better of a peripheral... Peripheral? Peripheral? Whatever word. I've got a little bit better view, so I can see things. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Natalia. Now that we're back in action here. But hopefully that at least let me keep an eye on things a little bit better. Uh, wait. Oh. Uh, what? What is she waiting on? She's click clicketing away. Clickety clackering away. Um. Did I. Did I miss some bad guys? Oh, there we go. Okay, there we are. That's weird. I, I don't remember a delay being there, but. Oh well. Maybe I'm just being too impatient. I'm too excited about clickety clacketing and peripheral and whatever other words I've botched. If I stand right here, oh, I was gonna say, if I stand in her way, will she, like, push me, or will she just, like, wait? <sighs> okay, set to fire on London, well, shit! It sucks, I like London. Although I've never been, I would like to. Probably helps that I can already speak English, as far as foreign countries go. Well, I guess my abilities in the language are debatable. Master debatable. Oh! Oh, there he is, okay. I see you hiding. God damn this thing where I can't shoot when I'm being hit. That sucks. It sucks all the things. No, not for you. Sorry. And I saw another guy run behind. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Thought you could hide from me. There's one up top. Yeah, thankfully the alarm stops after a while, so at least we don't have to put up with that for too long. You say, you might say, yeah, there's two more. You might say, so far so good for now, but trust me, it will not last. I think you could be a little quieter in killing all these people that are trying to kill you, Natalia. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so insensitive. Jeez, hold on, what am I thinking? Oh, come on, there we go. Uh, it's still, is oh, of course, yeah, the boundary layer temperature, yeah. Yeah, I know all about that, everyone knows that, of course, yeah. Techno babble. Oh, man. Come on, Natalia, you can do it. Shit, I can't. Oh, I just shot her in the face! I'm a terrible person. But she seems cool with it. What? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. God, that's stupid. So I saw him shoot me. Ah, oh, God. Oh, man, I think this is the end of me. Yeah, shoot Natalia for a bit. Oh, my God, this is stressful. Where is he? I don't know where he is, and that scares me. There's one up top. All right, screw it. I'm going. I'm going. No fucks were given that day. Ooh, come on. Damn it! Ah, I knew it. I, yeah, it, towards the end, I never did see where that last guy was shooting me. Ugh, yeah, that guy right off the top, and I think he might have been standing at the ready, so... You're pretty much bound to take a few more hits right at the end. And I, it won't show it on the camera, but right as I open the door, you can see that last mainframe. So it's behind some protected glass, but that's where that final part is. Okay, well... We, dis we did disable the satellite, so there is the I'm calling that a victory. And really, beyond that, there's not much more to the level. Once you get past that room, blow up that last mainframe, and run into the next room, if memory serves correct, I think there's only one or two rooms before that fi the final exit. And there's this large warehouse area where you have to hop into an elevator, so where you have to chase down Trevelyan. So, 
we're <laughs> technically we're almost done with the level, but god, this last that last rush is just a nightmare. So, oh boy. So, all right. Well, we're we're getting there. We are getting there indeed. So, here we go again. Mother. Sucks. I was doing really well. I was doing good. Man, and I think. God damn it, that. See, with this, I would have fucking beaten it. God damn it. Ah, uh, Natalia, you were useless. <sighs> no! Not fair! Come on! Oh my god, that was a disaster. Oh my god! Oh! It, well, that's why it was it wasn't going through the God damn it. That's bullshit. Not this again. There we go. Now, only can get through this last part. Alright, we should be home free. Come on, baby, open that door. Made it! Right? Oh no! When did she die? No! Oh man, I didn't even see the message for it. God damn it. Got all excited and everything. Fuck! Alright. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, fuck. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, squeaky toys do not make this any more bearable. Damn it. I love a God damn it! Oh, he was doing that infinite walking thing. God damn this. Oh, I couldn't even pause it. God damn. Alright. No. Damn it. Don't fucking kill her. It's done. the assumption that they wouldn't continue to shoot at her after it was all said and done. Alright. Now, if my calculations are correct, Natalia should not be dead, and we should all be good and home free. There's the final elevator. Kill this last douchebag. Open the door, and... Come on, please give me... Yes! Finally! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. I, I, I don't know how many tries that was, but... Man, that was crazy. Just like I knew it would be. Alright, well, arguably that was the hardest level in the game, so... <laughs> there's, there is still more, so don't worry, there's still lots more that could fuck me up, but... For now, I'm willing to call this a great personal victory. One quick thing, and you saw me do it in the... Like, the earlier parts of the montage, where you saw me pick up that second body armor, which is there in Double O Agent. 
but for that last time I decided not to try it. So, it's, for whatever reason, it seems like whenever I went down that path, Natalia would get killed. I'm pretty sure it's just a coincidence, but I figured I would try it without it this time, and it worked. So, that second body armor, if you can get to it, is a huge help, but that door doesn't get unlocked until after the Natalia part finishes. So, whether or not it's worth it, I guess, is debatable. But anyway, we finished this level. God damn, finally. Ah, man, that was tough, but... It's done, it's over, and I can sleep at night now. Alright, the next part is actually a pretty fun level. This one's pretty tough, but this is another, kind of like the train level, where it's tough, but I still enjoy it, so. And quite a lot of objectives for that matter, too. So there's this one, and then I think Cradle, and then that's it for the main part of the game. There are still two bonus levels, which I do intend to play. But the second of those two bonus levels is arguably the hardest level in the game, too. So there's, like I said before, there's still plenty. Uh, to see. So, anyway, um, we'll see the caverns in the next level. Thank you all for watching. I hope this was a little bit more enjoyable for you guys than it was for me. <laughs> uh, we'll see you again next time. Oh, shit.